Welcome to Trans Series, the show where we talk about everything Transformers. I'm your host, Jason, and before we get down to the 61 subscriber special, I want to say a few things. One, there may be background noise, so I'm sorry for that. Two, this video is not going to be the best quality because I am using a camera and I do not have my editing software to make this. Well, I have the software to edit the video, but not my vocals with the blue snowball microphone. Sorry, that's a dog barking in the background. But let's go start on with the special. So, I am going to apologize if there is a lot of background noise or this is not like the best quality. Just want to say because my videos have great quality, but this one may be downgraded because of the fact I'm using a camera. So, let's go look at the full collection first. <clears throat> yes, it is a pretty big collection. Just trying to get it all in frame. It's a bit hard. Now, this is the Decepticon shelf, the Autobot shelf, and the replacement shelf and mixed stuff. So, let's go start off with this part. <clears throat> so, the first thing we talk about is Ultimate Optimus Prime. Now, Ultimate Optimus Prime was a really cool figure that came out in the Dark of the Moon wave. And you could always plug in these mech tech weapons. I think that was the biggest thing at the time where they can transform and stuff. And they were really cool. So this guy, I'm very happy that he's all in one piece still. Sadly, I do not have the boxes like I have for everyone else, but we'll get into that later. <clears throat> so next we have Stratosphere. And yes, he has broken like five years ago or so, not sure. And his wing kind of clipped off when I was playing him because, you know, just throwing this guy around because I was like a little kid. And it was like trying to save the Autobots and stuff. Well, this guy broke. Too bad he broke because this was one of my favorite figures back in the day. Yes, I should treat him better, but I will fix this later once I buy some super glue from <clears throat> Joann's. So, next let's go move on to these guys. Now, these are the... Oh god, Legends class figures. And I do have them all transformed into vehicle mode just because I like them. And there's also a few bot shots scattered in below. So that's really cool. So here's a good pan of all this. And yes, I'm holding this. I'm not using a tripod because a tripod earlier did a lot of tests and it did not turn out really good. So let's go start off from the left. <clears throat> Here is my scrap bin, which has a lot of scrap parts. I think this was a Skyfire. I know Alvitos is going to comment down below about this guy, because we did have a talk earlier about him. So that's him. Um, now, here's my old uh, Hunter of Decepticons Bombi. Now, I love this guy so much. And the reason why he's red is because I tried making a Dino custom back in the day. It was not the best paint, as you can see here. It's kind of bumpy. The thing is, the story about him, <clears throat> I was at a friend's birthday party, and I brung that Bombi everywhere I went. So I was eating a cupcake, right? So, I don't know how I did it, but he fell in the cupcake, and the gears got all messed up, and that's why this part is all broken. Like, well, I'm not going to rip it off, but it can be taken off, which it should not be able to. And I used that for a Dino custom, like I said earlier, but that's also the reason why this Bombi has red. But I did not like the way how it turned out, and plus it couldn't transform, so I didn't really like that factor. But that's all for the scrap bin. I did use this to make <clears throat> some of these parts. To make a Roadbuster custom, but we'll get to him later. <clears throat> so first, let's go start off with the AOE Bumblebee. His shoulder pad broke like a few months ago. I'm not 100% sure. This guy, he's also broken his cockpit. When you do transform, this is his arm. Oops. And when you transform, this thing's not connected. So that's why I like him in vehicle mode. I'm just using him as like a jet that you saw in the last night flying. Yes, he's not 100% accurate, but just use your imagination. Now, here is Barricade from Dark of the Moon, who's one of the best figures. Now, I did have a debate switching him with the Last Night Barricade, but I eventually moved him down here. Which I didn't really like, because I liked this Barricade mode a lot more than the Last Night one. Tell me if I'm right or wrong on that, or if you agree or disagree. <clears throat> Next, let's go on to Bulkhead from Animate. This is the Leader Class version. Now, you can see that he is missing pieces a little bit, like, by those areas. And... The thing is with those, I broke him off when I was transforming him a while ago, and he's one of my favorite figures <clears throat> back in the day. Now this guy right here, he is a power core combiner, and I forgot his name, but just the middle piece, uh, my friend uh, Christian, who also goes by the name Lucario in the comments sometimes, he gave me this, so thanks dude, you're the best. <clears throat> Next, let's go move on to Optimus, and this is the one that has the Matrix. Now, I also replaced him with the Last Night Optimus Prime because... I want to keep up with the movies and their looks. That's why also Megs is here, my custom Megatron. He has all this rust. Now I'm going to start a new series on this to see which customs that I do you want to see a review on. And I'll do an HD review because I'm eventually going to get an HD camera, but don't know when that's going to be coming. So you want me to do a review on Megatron? 
uh, put his name in the comments down below and I'll eventually get to him. I do have a lot of theories for the main channel stacking up, so I do not know when he's going to be able to come out. <clears throat> Here is Skids and Mufflap. The ice cream truck, which, oh my god, back in the day, these guys were amazing to me. Like, just take them apart and make an ice cream truck. Until I learned that they were racist and stuff, but <laughs> we don't talk about that. Uh, Alvira's will get that joke. <clears throat> so here's Wheelie, and there's a uh, 2007 Ironhide. Now, he is a bit broken with his back piece, so that is taped back on. <sighs> Too bad he actually broke a few days ago, which I'm pretty sad, because I was reorganizing this collection, and he fell off, because he used to be on this shelf. And yeah, <clears throat> that's how he broke. Now here's my custom drift. Now he is not the best, as you can tell. Well, I don't know if you can actually see that on camera, but if I had the HD camera with me, you could see all like those cracks in it. But I will do touch them up if you do want to see a review on that custom. Next, uh, let's go on to the Thunder Mud Flap that I got. He is missing a piece on the side. Now here's all my animated and prime stuff. You can see animated Megs. A Rekgar, Knockout, B, Soundwave, Jazz. That's actually one. That's the first custom I ever done. It was either Jazz or this guy, which I had tail lights, but I had the horrible paint. But I think Jazz was my first full custom I've ever done. Yes, he looks horrible because I did him when I was like six or so. <clears throat> now the reason why uh, RC has B's gun is because, as you saw earlier, that Bone B has her uh, what's it called uh, blades. So that's why I gave her the gun. Now, here's a Golden Bumblebee. I forgot what he's actually called. I got him a long time ago. Yes, he's not complete, sadly. <clears throat> here's Transformers Prime Cup, Ratchet, uh, Generations Hoist, and Trail Cutter. I'm not 100% sure if the friend of Generations line. Here's Ratchet Animated. Uh, last night. <laughs> not last night. Uh, what's his? Jesus. It's Transformers Prime, Optimus Prime, Mags. Regular Prime and Rekgar and everybody else. <clears throat> now let's go move on to my Fall of Cybertron stuff with Optimus Prime, Megatron, the Combaticons, uh, Long Haul, it's Long Haul, uh, <laughs> Grimlock, and uh, Sandstorm. Yeah, sorry, I said Long Haul. <clears throat> so now let's go actually move on to the second section, which is the Autobots, and let's go start off with the Dinos. Now here's Grimlock, the fierce leader of the guys that we see here. Um, here is Snarl. No, not Snarl. That is Snarl. Slash, Slug, Strafe. This is Slug, the purple one. Uh, Big Scorn, which I also call Scorn. You'll see why. I call him Big Scorn, and I forgot his name. I'll put it on screen. <clears throat> now, here's this guy who came in the arc. Now, a fun fact about him is... The only thing I have from the arc left was this guy, because I did return to arc, but here's the thing. I used to have a Human Alliance uh, barricade, and he came with Frenzy, and I wanted to return to arc for some reason I don't remember, and I left Frenzy in that arc, so I never saw him again, so that's why I bought a replacement one. <clears throat> Here is this guy, I forgot his name, Wheelie, the Knights, now, with the Knights, and we'll get to Small Scorn later. The Knights, I'm actually going to get all the repaints of the Dinobots to make up 12 because, you know, dragons and dinosaurs are not that far off. Yes, I may trigger some people in the comments, but <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, here's the Red Scorn, which is a small run, which I'm using as the Red Knight. Yes, this guy is supposed to be the Red Knight, but just for accuracy, I don't want to paint this guy because he looks really cool. And I would be ashamed to paint him, so that's why I'm using him as the Red Knight. Now, the first custom we see on this list is Drift. Now, all the black you see on his body, well, besides the main black, but like that grayish, gunmetal grayish color, I painted that. Now, if you do want to see this guy, like I said, if Megatron, just give him his name down below and I'll eventually we'll get to him. Now, here is the Wreckers. <clears throat> now, with the Wreckers, um, here's Leadfoot, the leader. And, fun fact about him, he cost 500 bucks, and I could have got him now for like 350 but, you know, that's my mistake. Um, here's Top Spin, Semi Custom, and Road Buster. Now, he actually turns into his car a little bit. So, if you guys want to see the custom records video, uh, give a comment down below. Yes, Leftfoot's not a full custom, but I don't even think I'd paint him because, you know, he's 500 bucks. I want to leave him be. <clears throat> here's Jetfire. Now, with Jetfire, I actually may get the newer one that's coming out in the, uh, what's it called? The Movie Masterpiece one, and he has more black on his chest instead of blue, which I like. But I'm not 100% sure because it goes for 80 bucks and just for a repaint. <sighs> I'm not really 100% sure. Now let's go to the RC triplets. We got 
Alita, RC, and Chromia. And there's a gap here because of Squeaks' trailer, and uh, Autobot is going to be there eventually when I get another one. Uh, let's go to the back. Let's see. Hound, Longarm, uh, I think that's Skyhammer, and there's uh, Blazemaster, Jazz, Q, now he does have a custom painted thing, uh, Cogman, Evac, Breakaway, Ah, oh, jeez, I forgot his name, but I think it's Backfire with his human component. Aeroid, Crosshairs. Now, here's the funny thing about Crosshairs. I actually got a last night Crosshairs, but I got scammed, so that sucked. But I got my money back, and instead of getting another Crosshairs, I got a Mind Wipe, and I got a Terror Dive, which I'll be doing a clutch and update on them. <clears throat> but I will eventually get the last night uh, Crosshairs when I have the money for them. Now we have Stop the Time, also known as Hot Rod. You get that joke if you've seen some of my old videos. And here is, uh, what's her name? Michaela, I believe. There's Squeaks, Bumblebee, Prime, Ironhide, The Dark of the Moon, uh, Ratchet. Now he's a custom painted because you can see the white, it was originally green. And that really triggered me because, you know, it has to be accurate. I guess that was a CGI mistake. So I'm happy I fixed that. <clears throat> And now I think this guy's also right here named Sandstorm. Here's his human. Got Skids and Mudflap. We also got Simmons. And where is he? And there's Epps. Now I used to have a Lunox figure, but I forgot where he went. I think I dropped him somewhere and he got sucked up by a vacuum and I never saw him again. Well, I'm not sure. But here is Dino, which is the repaint of Sideways, which I will be getting the Alien Attack one to replace this one. And here's one of my favorite Autobots, Jolt. He's really cool. Now, fun fact about him is I actually broke a piece off where his chest is supposed to be. Now, I know you can't see it because sideways, I mean, sideswipe is in the way, not sideways. He's in the way, but he has, I broke it off and, well, I kind of fixed it because I angled those pieces on there down so you couldn't really see it that well. Next, let's go on to this. Okay, so let's start over here. We have sideways. Who's also custom painted? Uh, oh geez, Dreadwing, uh, Fear Swoop, and this is Overcast. We have uh, Starscream, that's Thundercracker, and Skywarp. We have, uh, geez, he was the first movie bot. No, he's a Mountain Dew guy, this, this, yeah, Dispenser. Um, there is Ramsack. There is, uh, what's his name? I forgot. Yeah, deadlift. Because originally I thought it was uh, Dirt Boss, but he's all green. <clears throat> now here is Ice Pick. Zoom out. There's a uh, payload, or I also like to call him Loader because of the Hunter Decepticons payload I have, so I want to have a contrast between them. There's Last Night Barricade. He's partly custom. There's the new uh, Frenzy. Funny thing about him is. When I bought him in box, he was completely disassembled, so I get some glue, put him back together. Now, the reason why there's an empty spot here is for my Dark of the Moon sound wave, and that's why you see uh, Dylan, Ravage, and a Laserbeak. Laserbeak is gonna get painted in the future, because I'm gonna get rid of that red and give it gunmetal gray, but Dark of the Moon sound wave will be here eventually. <clears throat> Blackout, Grindor, Swindle, Last Night Megatron, uh, God, what's his name? <laughs> Crankcase. Stinger, which he's gonna get replaced with the movie The Best. Stinger. Not movie The Best, but, oh, God, what's his name? Studio Line Stinger. Which I should have known that because I did a review on it. <clears throat> Here is Demolisher. Galvatron. Uh, what's his name? <clears throat> Rampage. Now, the funny thing is, Skipjack costs like a hundred bucks. So I do not have him in the collection yet, but like I said, collection updates are gonna be pretty common soon. Here is Quintessa, there's Stockade, Lockdown, Dropkick, um, that guy with the tire up there, uh, that's Demolish, not Demolisher, Scavenger, should know this, uh, Shockwave, uh, Dark Steel, um, I'm gonna actually move the chair back, oh, sorry, and there's Long All in the background. <clears throat> um, here is the uh, Berserker custom I did, and I did give him, uh, focus, 
it gave him a uh, golden hair because I kind of like that idea of the dreads. There is the one and only Fallen. There's Nitro Zeus. Now I'll do a custom with him with Shockwave's head. He is partly custom with the paint, which I do believe it did turn out good. I just need that Shockwave head on him. Now, here is Bludgeon, which was a gift from Alvedo, so thank you, dude. You're awesome, too. There's Brawl. Did I forget anybody here? No. Oh, yeah. Mixmaster. Now, this Mixmaster I actually got off of eBay, and he was fully custom in this because I do not have the paint skill for that guy. I know it's really hard to see because this camera is not the best, but I guess you can see that all right. Like I said, I'm sorry. This is not the best quality video. There's Bone Crusher, Thrust. Uh, Supreme Class Devastator with, uh, what's his name, Infernicus, uh, Payload, uh, let me see here, and behind a uh, Bone Crusher is Incinerator. So now let's go actually move on to some other stuff in my room. So here is some Leader Class and even Alliance stuff. So we got Barricade, which is the replacement one because my old one broke with the hand. There is Soundwave, Sentinel Prime, using the uh, Fans Wanted Ironhide Swords. Megatron, who has the Fans Wanted uh, or UFO arm, which I'll show off. Kind of hard to see, but you see how that piece is there? That is completely different. There is B, uh, Dark of the Moon, uh, what's his name? Prime? Not what's his name, but uh, with his guns. They actually turn to, like, the smokestacks over there. They turn to guns, not smokestacks, but the tankers. There is... One of my favorites, Ironhide. Now, it actually, because I got this from China or something, it actually came with these hands, which are articulated, which are pretty cool. It also comes with the fans wanted guns. Here is Skids and Mudflap, and this Mudflap cost me 300 bucks with the whole set, if you guys are wondering. Here's my horribly painted Optimus Prime from, like, back in 2014 when I got him. That's why, he, yeah, he looks good on camera because, you know, it's not the best camera, but he looks horrible in person. Here's last night, uh, last night Megatron leader class. There is a Dark of the Moon skits. I wish they made a Dark of the Moon mud flap, but you know, I guess they didn't have time for that. Here's Barricade. Now I'm actually gonna zoom out as much as I can. Here's Barricade, the old one I had. There's Optimus Prime Avenger the Fallen. Now the thing is, he's actually all beaten up, missing pieces. So that's why I gave him the jetpack just to look less obvious. And I also forgot to show you guys one thing. One thing I missed. And that's Mr. Metroplex who's under here. Now, he does make sounds. <clears throat> and he also has, I don't know if it's still in here, but a card of Optimus Prime from uh, Age of Extinction. I think I got this at a birthday party from a friend who also likes Transformers, or Valentine's Day. <laughs> it was me who gave those out, because you know, I'm still a Transformers geek. Every school, so hard to find one kid that likes Transformers. And I'm not the only one. Until I went to this new school, and that's where I met Alvitos. And that's how he hooked me up oh, with Bludgeon, and I hooked him up with uh, Last Night Barricade. Well, thanks for tuning in, Trans Theaters. It's been great knowing you all and having this 61 subscriber special just in this short amount of time. And I do want to give you guys another big fat thank you, because I would not be here without you guys, because you were the guys who give me recommendations, support, nice support, and everything and it's just really good to hear good compliments what i'm doing that makes you guys happy because for me it's not all about the money i just want to make good content for you guys that want to see theories about transformers and like i said if you have a theory please comment it down below even though i have like over a hundred videos in the making most of them are my theories but i'm actually going to get to your theories first because you know that's what i feel is right well this has been jason from trans theories signing off your car was still in the grill of the evil mega